Now I want to test this method to make sure that something like this actually renders out. And to do that, I use something called field validation. So in a form, we can actually have validation with clean underscore whatever the field name is. So the field name I'm validating is title, but it could be any of the model fields or any other form field that you might use in case you forgot about that. So we're gonna go ahead and come in here and actually do it. So title is equal to self.cleaneddata.get and then the field name, of course, and we'll say if title.lower is equal to something like ABC, then we'll just go ahead and raise forms.validation error, and this is not a valid title. Okay, so this is only on the form level, right? It doesn't do it on the model. It only does it on the form. That's a key distinction here that you should remember. Obviously, we're not gonna touch it just yet, but that's a key distinction. So now that we've got that, I didn't change anything in my view. Let's go ahead and try it out. Coming back in here, I just type out ABC, hit save. I see that it says this is not a valid title. So in other words, what our post method is doing is it's actually coming through and initializing what needs to happen. Now, there is one other thing that you might consider doing, and that is once it's valid, you might actually want to re-render the form. So I say another title, I hit save, it stays in there, although I might wanna create another form or another course or whatever it is that I'm building, right? So I want it to be empty. I want it to be in its original state. So to do that, all I need to do is reinitialize the actual form itself, and that will solve that issue.